I'm Amareth Burt. I um, am president currently of our Upshur County Community Theater. Just wanted to give you a brief history and um, before we start today, we were organized in 2005, can you hear me? And uh, we were sponsored uh, by the Upshur County Arts Council. I don't even know if we have an arts council anymore. But at that time, they sponsored us with $1,000, and due, largely due to Bill Beddingfield, we began our Upshur County Community Theater. Um, he was part of community theater in several cities and they just helped Gilmer, and through the Arts Council, a newspaper, and word of mouth, we became a substantial group, and we had our first meeting here, not in this wing, but in Gilmer Civic Center. Um, Vicki Wynn was our first president, and the play Rumors by Neil Simon, directed by Carrie Spence, was our first production. We have since had many um, bullying productions, as well as dinner theaters, and various locations from the Civic Center, High School, Country Club, you name it. We have an amazing writer, director, locally, Amy Patterson, who has um, written a lot of our dinner theaters. We like to perform them for fundraisers for different events, uh, different organizations in Hampshire County, and support our community as you guys support us. So, um, that being said, um, Upshur County Community Theaters is a nonprofit organization. Uh, like I said, in 2005, so we're, we're pretty new. We're a fun organization, and there are many ways I want you to know to be involved. So we're made up of volunteers, of course, and some of the ways you could be a volunteer is acting, directing, sets, we learn how to build sets and we actually build them, uh, props, wardrobe and costume, makeup, programs, tickets, advertising, camera, video, lights and sound, and then rehearsals and understudies. We always need people for reading, blocking, and understudying for our roles. So, we're a fun group, like I said, who, bring, who enjoys bringing entertainment to our community each year with our productions. This is a great way to support the arts in our area, and we would like to offer you the opportunity to be involved. There are three ways to be involved. First, <laughs> Second, we appreciate financial support. And third, we have on your tables our upcoming production. Uh, please attend our plays, and uh, we look forward to that. Uh, you supporting us in any or all of those ways. So at this time, I would like to introduce you to some of our players. We're a small group, but like I said, we're a fun group. Keep that in mind. Um, to start off with, I would like to introduce you to Miss Betty Parrish. Betty it, uh, got her training as a grandma. She played a damsel in distress rescued by Superman, a hunter of black bears in the backyard using sticks for guns, and a veterinarian who miraculously cured every stuffed animal brought to her office. On the real stage, she's portrayed the Dingy Blonde in the female version of The Odd Couple and Clarie in Steel Magnolias. She also performed with Jeff Jefferson Opera Players in Harvey as the doctor's wife in the dramatization of Love Letters and as Sam Spade's secretary in radio broadcast. Well, uh, Betty is a charter member of the Dutch County Community Players, and she recently directed Man with a Plastic Sandwich. Betty says uh, there are few roles for actresses at her age, far in between, unless you're Meryl Streep. <laughs> She's grateful, is grateful for this opportunity, and she does love to act. Next, I would like to introduce you to Martha Bowling. Martha Bowling is also a charter member of the Upshur County Community Players. She has performed in Murder in the Old Wild West, Come Blow Your Horn, and A Nice Family Gathering. She's also a director and has directed Tuna Christmas, Fly Spirit, and Keeper 2, and recently You Can't Get There From Here. 
She and her husband, Jim, have lived here since 2000, 2000 and we're happy to have them. Uh, Dr. Sherry Nassau. Dr. Nassau, after four years serving in the Air Force, she received a B.S. summa cum laude in biology and chemistry from the College of William and Mary in Virginia and graduated from Texas A&M with a B.S. and D.D.M. in veterinary <coughs> science, veterinary medicine. She's practiced veterinary medicine in Upshur County for the past 32 years. Wow. She had never been on stage before until she performed with Upshur County Community Players. Her first appearance uh, in drama was for a dinner theater par four for murder, followed by Still Magnolia's Fatal Fiesta, Couple of Your Horn, and many, many others. She's amazing. She has two beautiful daughters. Athena and Diana, and she's recently married to her own Patrick. Uh, next we have Stacy Nolan. Stacy Fowler Nolan is a native of Gilmer and, and Murder in the Library, which we performed earlier this year, was her second appearance in, uh, with the community theater, uh, community players. Stacy is in her 12th year as a licensed real estate agent at Advantage Realty in Gilmer and is married to Gary Nolan. She and Gary are the parents to a 12-year-old, to 12-year-old twins, Henry and Condi Nolan. We have one um, member that's not here. He's a real full-time college student and he plays a college student in our play. His name is Corn Carter. He's a County native. His parents are Tracy Langford and Doug Carter. Um, he full-time student at UT Tyler studying to become a teacher. He's been in several nine shows in high school and college, and um, that's why he's not here today, so we're doing a snippet without him. So me, myself, um, I am a rep. I'm married to Greg Birch. I work at Upshur Gilmer Area <laughs> Chamber of Commerce. I have one son, he's 20, and my first um, introduction to community theater was in 2013, I'm very new. I performed and directed, this is my third play to direct. So speaking of directing, let's begin. <clears throat> Our play is called Exit Laughing. It's a comedy, and let me tell you, it's an adult comedy. We're keeping it nice today and we'll spill it all out for you at the hospital. So it's about Paul and Elliot, and I just want to read a little back. It says, when the biggest highlight in life for the past 30 years has been a weekly bridge night out with the girls, what do you do when one of your foursome inconveniently dies? If you're Connie, Leona, and Millie, three southern ladies from Gilmer, you borrow the ashes from a quarter funeral home for one last car game. And the wildest, most exciting night of your lives involves Lori's sweets and eats, a police raid, a stripper, and a whole new way of looking at the, all the fun you can have when you're truly living. Stupid me. What have you got to be stupid about? 
for putting myself out there, for thinking I might finally have a boyfriend. Well, honey, you are a beautiful young girl with lots of personality. Yeah, personality? That's like describing a girl as one level above psycho. And look, this hair, it's like Medusa. And these eyebrows, like two Yeti, baby. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Oh, I have to be dramatic. I'm a theater major. Well, on stage, but off stage. Uh, no. Honey, come here. You are a beautiful young woman. You had to say that. No. You're my mother. It's true, even if I am. Stood up, deserted. All along. I'm going to be just like you. Excuse me? Never going out. Never on a date. All alone. I do go out. I go to grocery store. And I'm not alone. I've got you. I wouldn't call that being alone. But what about a man? What about a man? <laughs> when was the last time you went out on a date? I bet it hasn't been since Dad left us. And that's been... Oh, I know how long it's been, but trust me, Rachel. If you've been married to your father, you understand why I'm not in such an all fire curve. But 15 years? Well, maybe I'm a slow eater. There's worse things than being alone. Name one. Well, aside from your father, constipation. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just said the first thing that came into my mind. I'm really sorry you got stood up, Rachel. But that young man, whoever he is, he doesn't know what he's missing. Well, I know what I'm missing. A lot. I feel like locking myself up in my bedroom and never doing it. Oh, come on, Rachel. You're not 16 anymore. It is not the end of the world. For you, baby. But for me, I don't see it. A lot of boys lining up at the door trying to take my virginity. Well, I thought we decided that was a good thing. When I was 12? That's been years ago. I, you know, I just don't think I'm old enough to be having this conversation. Mom, I'm not saying come and get, but it sure would be nice to have someone come and try to take it for once. <laughs> I'm in a college of raging. Hormones, no one's even sniffing in my direction. Well, maybe you bathe more than most. <laughs> this isn't funny, Mom. There's nothing funny about being a loser. Or not being a loser, depending on how you look at it. And I feel like locking myself up. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was looking forward to it. He was cute. He was smart. He was. Well, I'm sorry. And I even bought a dress. Was it pretty? <laughs> Who cares if it, it's pretty? It's going to hang there and rot, just like something out of great expectations. And it's all your fault. What have I got to do with anything? You're my mom. I'm supposed <laughs> to blame somebody. Well, don't blame me. I was at the funeral home all day. Oh, crap. I forgot. How was it? Well, I wouldn't call it a barrel of laughs. How Miss Leona and Miss Millie taking it? Well, it's hard to tell. We're just all kind of numb. They're coming by later. What are you doing with Miss Mary's cat? Oh, me and Buttercup going to go upstairs to my room. We've both been left alone in this world to fit for ourselves. I know that, baby. Yeah, I guess it's been a cruddy day all around. No. <clears throat> I, I don't think that black is my color. Oh, give it to me. Because today I feel as old as you. <laughs> and you know what burns me up? If I ever hear the name Bobby again, I think I'll die. Bobby? Oh, Mom, why don't you just pour salt in the wound while you're at it? I'm sorry. I just didn't know that name. Well, don't worry. After today, it is forbidden forever. Okay, okay. Anyway, I am sorry.
Rachel, uh, would you get the door? I think that's merely uh, the girls. I think it's the girls. Huh. Is it Millie or Leon? No, it wasn't Leon. What? Never mind. No one there. Story of my life. Gosh, I need a drink. <laughs> help, help yourself. You look like crap. Well, good. I feel like crap. Oh, forgot the cookies. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't think anybody's going to feel like eating anything anyway. Right. You can't drink cookies. What's that? What? Oh, that is Rachel's monument to stupid men. Maybe she ought to try for someone a little taller. Well, she just prays. <laughs> Join the club. Oh. I'll be in touch that day. No. At least now I'm saved. Where's the glass? Rum! Is this all you got? Rum? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure there's something else in the kitchen. Just go look behind the bread box. Nobody drinks rum anymore. A lush has got to have some dignity. And I know that's what you call me behind my back. I lush. never, I never do that. Well, she did, Mary. Mary said a lot of things she didn't necessarily mean. <laughs> Leona, don't drink that so fast. Well, now you're even beginning to sound like Mary. Well, maybe she was right. Yeah, well, now she's dead, damn her. Well, it's not like she did it on purpose. Well, she went ahead and did it anyway. We know it was just a matter of time, but, you know, I didn't know how I was going to feel when it actually happened. Yeah, could you believe the people at the funeral home? I thought Mary said she didn't have any living relatives. Well, maybe she didn't consider trailer trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, and you know, I never saw any of them visiting her, and I never saw them at the hospital, and she never talked about them. Now all of a sudden, here they are, all of them, and they're in control. They're going to bury Mary. Just because she's dead. She did not want to be buried. I know, I know. And we promised her, the three of us. I know. Spread my ashes over the most beautiful places you can find. We promised. No, I don't know whether to scream or cry or be sick. Or get drunk. I just don't know how things got so screwed up. Thank goodness you got her cremated. <laughs> Thank goodness I had it in writing. Those two vultures would have dumped her straight from that hospital bed into the ground if they'd gotten here any soon. They were already complaining about the cost of the funeral home. Huh? Yeah, well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Legally, they're holding all the cards. I'd like to tell them what they can do with all those cards. Yeah. Oh, that's got to be Billy. Huh, it's really? not locked. Uh, Upshur County community players, another round of applause. Thank y'all. 